What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. In today's episode, we are going to be patrolling in this 2016 Ford Explorer with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We are going to try to stay in the Fort Zancudo area, patrolling US Route 1. And uh, yeah, let's begin this patrol right now. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's begin. Citizens report a suspicious person on um, Great Ocean Highway. All right, dispatch, go ahead and show us responding to that call. 1023 on scene, I should say, because we're basically on scene. So we have a suspicious person over here by Fort Zancudo. So what that means, I have no idea. We're going to have a male here walking. It's going to be a Bravo Mike. Is this our guy or what? Uh, police, what are you doing here? Yeah, this is going to be our guy. I ain't doing nothing, I promise. I'm just walking around. Do you have any ID on you? Arrest. Okay, arrest the suspect or give them. Okay. Sir, can I get your name, please? Okay. Machado. I don't know. I'm not even going to try that. Ant Anto uh, Antonio? Maybe that's it. Anto yeah, that's it. Antonio Machado. 927, 1954. He's coming back valid. No active warrants. Okay, sir. Uh, Police! Well, you know what? If you just clear out of here and get out of here and don't come back, um, you're not supposed to be on this road at all because you are, uh, you're you're approaching Fort Zancudo, which is a federal base. So if you could just leave the area, we will be good. All you're not right. going to leave. Off we you go. do it like this. All right, whatever. So just leave the area, sir, so I don't have to come back and arrest you. All right, I don't know. He's stuck there. Attention all units. We are code four. All right, but he's walking this the right way now. And yes, dispatch, you can go ahead and show this call code four. And we'll be back 10-8, returning to patrol. As long as he leaves, I don't really mind him, uh, you know, walking off. He just, if I get another call out here, we're going to have some issues, so... Yeah, we'll be back on patrol, and we will see what happens next. All right, so that Saddler went by us. Plate's going to be 172, his last three digits. Uh, going 74 in a 60-mile-per-hour zone. So we're going to speed to catch up to him. You know, because that's what cops do. they got to speed to actually pull you over. So anyways, we're going to get him stopped. Try to get him stopped, at least. All right, he's slowing down pretty quick as soon as he's seen our light. And almost pulled over perfect, so that's not bad. Definitely, uh, definitely not doing bad. All right, let's stop right there before you hit the wall. All right, uh, dispatch, can you go ahead and show us on a 1011 with a charcoal-colored saddler? Now, it's going to be occupied one time. We are southbound lanes of U.S. Route 1. We're going to have a 1028 of 21 Paul Frank Edward 172. Target vehicle license plate. Two, Elmo one, Green. Paul Frank no Edward flags. One, He's never seven, been two, sighted. No so 1099. Make our way out of the vehicle. We'll just have a quick talk into him, see what's going on today. Uh, hello, sir. Trooper Miller with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop today is uh, I got your clock back there at 74 and a 60. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you're in a rush or anything like that. You know what's going on? No answers? Okay. Get well, off. if I can start with your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration for the vehicle, that would be great. Thank you, Mr. Green. And uh, yeah, it looks like there's no basic questions, you know, other than like the drinkers. All right. So, sir, we'll be right back with you. And, uh, yeah, just, just hold tight. Okay, we're just going to run his information real quick. Based on what dispatch told us, uh, he should be clean and clear to move on. Let's see. Elmo Green, valid, no wanted status. He has no gun permit. He has never been stopped. He has been arrested for kidnapping. Well, there is no one else in the car with him, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, actually, let's get back in there. Elmo Green, create citation. 
We are going to be ticketing him today for speeding. And that'll be 10 to 15 miles per hour. Alright. And let me go ahead and issue him a... No, we already issued it. I need to give him this ticket. Alright, Mr. Green, you will be ticketed today for the speeding violation. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot speed on our roads, and uh, going almost 15 over the speed limit is not acceptable. I can't even give you a warning, to be honest. I need you to slow down. This is a busy part of the area. So if you could... What the heck? So if you could go ahead and sign on the dotted line, it's not an omission of guilt. It's just saying you will take care of this ticket for me. And uh, you will be free to go as soon as I get back to my vehicle. So yeah, just a quick citation. Nothing came out of it other than a citation. But no, no other offenses or anything like that. And I'm sure he will slow it down. And we're going to try to flip around here and go set back up. And we'll see if we get any calls or if we are dispatched dispatched out to any calls or if we get any more speeders so yeah we'll see what happens next dispatch you can go ahead and show that call for that traffic stop code four one citation issued and we'll be back 10 8 returning to patrol citizens report a possible disturbance on great ocean highway units respond code two all right dispatch go ahead and show us 1023 on scene we have a possible disturbance. We are, like, seriously right in the area. So we're going to go ahead and take a look over here and see what we can come up with. Not seeing anything. There's a female over here. Huh. Yeah, I don't really see. Is this guy part of it? Hey, bud, can I talk to you? Don't get me wrong. Nothing? Okay. Ma'am, you have anything if to I say? No? Him, okay. I'm drop these cakes on him like a video hmm. ho. <laughs> Later, sugar. Not quite sure. I'm going to go take a look this way and see if I can find anything. Okay. Oh, okay. This vehicle contains right what to, what appears to be illegal items. Can confirm vandalism. Vehicle with smashed windows and damaged tires. What? Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, so I think I should go look around and see if there's... Man, I don't know what to do on this call. What, do we search the bike? Let me see if I search it. I'm looking like, uh, looking for, you know, somebody that's like suspicious. We found a photo album. Huh. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy, maybe. Hopefully. No? Okay. Cool story, man. Cool story. Um... I don't see anyone back here. I I don't know. I uh, I guess we'll run the plate. And, you know, we'll let dispatch notify the owner that we're going to tow their bike because it has been vandalized. Uh, dispatch, can you run us a 1028 on a uh, red and white hexer? It's going to be 61 X-Ray Queen Suspect Henry 803. Six, Joshua one, Shiver. Henry 803. All Proceed with caution. Dispatch, can you go ahead and roll us a 1051 out to our location? Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone in the area. I mean, the female didn't talk to me. The guy that walked across, actually both people that walked across the parking lot here did not respond. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Dispatch, can you go ahead and show this call? Code 4, I don't know why it's not. What the heck? Don't, 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 don't you dare hit my car. Yeah, I, uh, not really sure. And now it's not letting me clear the call. So, uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and show that call code four. And we will be back 10-8, returning to patrol 
Um, I'm not really sure if that was how it was supposed to go, but I there's not really much I can do. I mean, I searched the bike, I checked everything over, there was nobody in the area that was suspicious, so... Yeah, I guess we'll be back on patrol, and we will see what happens next. Okay, so we just had that Emperor go by us at 73. It's going to be 069. 73 is amazingly fast when you have to start from a dead dig. Alrighty. This Emperor right here. So we're going to try to initiate a traffic stop with them. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. I'm going to get them pulled off to the shoulder. And not in the bush, because I do not want to perform a traffic stop in a bush. Right there will work for us. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, dispatch, can you go ahead and uh, show us out on a 1011 just north of the Fort Zancudo under, uh, tunnel, not underpass. It's going to be with a gray in color, dark gray in color, Emperor. The 1028 on that Emperor is going to be 02 George King Victor 069. Target license plate. Coming back zero to Brian Nicholson. George King Victor 069, no 1099. Zero citations, no flags. Dispatch, we're also going to have a vehicle occupied one time. And uh, no 32s required. So we're going to go ahead and approach the vehicle and see what's going on with them. Hello, sir. Trooper Miller with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop today is I got you going 73 in a 60 mile per hour zone. If I could start with your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration for the vehicle, that would be great. Thank you, Mr. Brian Nicholson. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and hold tight for me real quick, and I will be right back with you. All right, I'm actually parked a little bit too far. Just a little bit. I need to be, like, right about there. All righty. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the MDT and run it. Brian Nicholson, valid, no wanted status. There, He has no gun permit. He's never been stopped or anything. Man, for just going 13 over. Man, it really kills me, but he was still in a construction zone, and that that's not good. Um, let's go ahead and just bump it. We'll do under 10. How about that? I really shouldn't, but... This guy's 66 years old and has never had an issue ever. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, sir. Uh, yeah, so I am going to be issuing you a citation today. Uh, I'm going to knock it down a little bit, get you under 10. But uh, I, I really can't do anything better. You went through a construction zone. So, um, you know, but with that being said, I, do, I did notice that you were a little bit swervy right before I stopped you. Uh, why were you on your phone? Sorry, officer, it was really important. Okay, and I'm guessing that's probably why you were speeding. So, um, yeah, with that being said, you are going to need to uh, just go ahead and sign on the dotted line. It's not an omission of guilt. It's just saying you will take care of this ticket whether you pay it whether you pay it, or you fight it in court. That is up to you to decide. Uh, but, yeah, uh, as soon as I get back to my vehicle, you are free to go, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. So... He's good to go. Um, he was on his phone. I forgot about that. But if you noticed, and I mean, you could rewind it, obviously, because you're watching. Uh, but yeah, if you just... What is he doing? Um, if you look back to right before I pulled him over, it almost looked like he might have been even uh, driving under the influence. You know, of something. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, I mean, he was a little bit swervy. It, fortunately, it was a, just a phone. So... No big deal there, but dispatching, go ahead and show that 1011 code for, and we will be back 108, returning to patrol, setting up signal 11 just north of Fort Zancudo. All right, so we just had that uh, Black Dukes go by us at 72.2, so. 
I'm gonna round it up 73 miles per hour. I'm gonna try to catch up to that vehicle. Whoa, buddy, you must have seen me in your rear view, so yeah, slow down. Yep, let's go ahead and uh, pull it over, man. At least they're stopping for us. That's a good sign so far. Let me get them pulled up uh, right here under the shoulder. Might as well take them into the, you know, single lane area. That way, you know, we're out of the uh, the merge lane also. All right, uh, dispatch, can you go ahead and show us out on a 1011 US Route 1 uh, just north of Hookies? We're going to be out with a Black Dukes. 1028 on that vehicle is going to be 47 John George Henry 492. Looks like it's going to be occupied please. one time. Four, no 1032 John George Henry 492. No 1099. Gustav Klitt. Two citations. No flags. Alrighty. So probably just a simple, uh, you know, speeding ticket. I. Oh, Attention all okay. units. We have a suspect resisting arrest in North Chumash. Dispatch, we're going to be uh, active priority. It's going to be a 1080. We're heading northbound US Route 1 at this time, heading towards Polito. If you can roll Attention me two all additional units, units. this could be a possible on, um, stolen vehicle. Great Ocean Highway in Rattown County. Dare, what are you doing, you guys? Right here, dispatch. I'll check Hello. it out. That is not how you flip a U-turn in a pursuit. Anyways, dispatch, we are going to be northbound US Route 1. It's a technical respell. I don't know. I like to say no. Hold on, hold on for a couple seconds. Anyways, dispatch, we are going to be approaching the... Ah, uh, I don't even know. We're going to be approaching Polito, I guess. Yeah, we're heading eastbound, US Route 1. Approaching Polito. It looks like they're not passing this car in front. I'm not really sure why. Are you stopping? Is this going to be a okay. So as soon as I go around, that's when they get... Oh, look at that. They're just nailing that lady behind us. Come on, guys. We're officers here. Anyways, dispatch northbound. Yes, Route 1. We are entering Polito at this time. We are going to be continuing on Route 1 past Polito Boulevard. That emperor is losing its mind up there. This car does not break for anything. I'm going to keep pursuing it there. That is for sure. Eastbound, US, okay, northbound US Route 1. Are we turning yet? Nope. We're going to be leaving Polito just past Procopio. But we are leaving the uh, Polito Center. Continuing on Route 1, approaching Route uh, 15, 13, I think it's the 13. Alright, we got some units with us. Dispatch, we're going to go ahead and request a pit. Uh, speeds are about 70 miles per hour at this time. Traffic is pretty light, and there is zero pedestrian. Alright, we are going to be clear to pit at this time. Alright, still have the two units with me, so that is good. I'm going to try to get the pit before we get into the tunnel, if that is actually going to happen. I have no idea. Why can I not pit in SUVs? I just don't get it. Don't really want to do this in the tunnel, that's for sure. But yeah, I'm just not good at It's the, uh, you know, I'm just used to driving cars as an LEO. I'm just trying to push to the block. Come on, guys, that's your job. You're supposed to walk around. All right, dispatch. Uh, she's going to be heading northbound, or southbound. No, northbound is Route 13 in opposite lanes at this time. We've got an officer following her in opposite lanes. Oh, come on. Come on, she flipped around. Dang it. 
We gotta, we gotta go, 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 go. Get out of the way. Let's try to uh, get down and across. I know I'm leaving. I, she flipped around now. All right, are we? Yes, she is. Oh, she bailed. Okay, okay, she bailed. She bailed. She bailed. Dispatch going to be active 1070. We are on. Uh, going to be heading northbound Route 13. Ma'am, put your hands up right now. You will be tased. You will be tased, ma'am. Uh, she's just going to keep running. Next time I'm going to have to tase her. She obviously just does not want to listen. Ma'am, stop running. I will tase you. That is, oh my goodness, I was going to say that is way too far. Ma'am, get face down LSPD. on the ground. Don't you Don't dare me move shoot another you. muscle. Okay, you can move muscles. Just get down on the ground, I guess. Just That's cool. Give up. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, ma'am. You are being placed under arrest today for being in a vehicle pursuit with us. Please do not fall off the... What the... Is that where I parked my car, or did it get smashed? Yeah, that definitely was not where I parked my car. That's wonderful. I mean, I definitely know I was facing the wrong way. I guess that looks pretty cool, though. Anyways, uh, ma'am, do you have anything on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form before we put you into the back? Get out of the truck. Ma'am, do you have anything on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form before I put you into the back of my patrol vehicle? Have a seat for me. Let's put the M4 away. All right, use needles, some beef jerky, a set of keys, and... see and it looks like her car is already gone yes they cleaned up this scene pretty good but at least they, uh, the uh the car is going to be in the impound so we'll just go ahead and uh, throw on our secondaries here and stop here in the medium all righty let's go ahead and have a talk with her get her name at least all right, ma'am, uh, Trooper Miller here with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. If I could just go ahead and start with your name, that would be excellent. Yasmin Buchan, Buchans, okay. Valid, no active warrant, so that was probably a stolen vehicle. Uh, ma'am, if you could go ahead and blow into this device, I want to make sure you haven't been uh, drinking any alcohol. Failed to provide, all right. Let's go ahead and check for some controlled substances since you did have some used needles on you. Negative on both. Okay, well, simple enough. We'll just go ahead and book her. Get some uh, pet database. Yasmin Boochamp. Boochamp. Uh, we're going to have traffic. Reckless driving. She was driving the wrong way. Leaving the scene of an accident, evading arrest, uh, and that's it. I mean, we're going to get her for those charges there. Dispatch, can you go ahead and roll us a 1032? Assistance required for a suspect placed under arrest in South Mount Gordo. 13, Adam, just six, south copy. Of we'll check it out. Area. Roger. I think that's Braddock Pass Tunnel. Hello. Looks like our transport unit's on scene. Sure. Excellent. All right, dispatch, you can go ahead and show us 10-8, uh, or actually not 10 eight. That scene is going to be code 4. She is going to be picked up, and we are going to be 10-7, 10-42. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. That is the last call of the day. It's, a, it's always nice to end with a pursuit. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next episode.